Okay, good afternoon all. I'm just going to go through a few uh, answers to some questions that were asked over the past week. Uh, I think it's fair to say that you know the online learning uh, using Teams is new to us all, and there's no doubt that it's definitely got better as the week has progressed. So thanks for everything you've done uh, this week. So a couple of questions. The first one was how to share uh, your screen. So you know, apologies if. You know, I'm sure a lot of you know how to do this, but let's just quickly go through it just in case. So if I want to share my screen, then you can see your share content, little arrow then in, in the box. I click it, and I get options of what, what I can share. So I could share the whiteboard. If I share the whiteboard, that's going to bring up uh, an interactive uh, board that I'm able to draw on, uh, write on. Okay, so present whiteboard, only you can edit, or they could. So I'm just going to put for just myself and then using this and you, know, you can you could draw on this and write on this whatever you need to do you could type text you've got sticky notes there you you got all sorts okay so that's sharing the desktop that's sharing my white but my whiteboard with them if i want to share my desktop then i can go on here and i go desktop so then i'm sharing my desktop what what i've got here is you know what they can see i can open up a word document Okay, and I could read through, this could be a booklet, I could be reading through that. Okay, so that's how I share my desktop. Now to stop sharing, I simply click stop. Now if you're showing a, say, YouTube clip, or maybe you're on uh, a program that uses audio, if you hover over this button here, it says include system audio. So if I click that, um, and it, it, there is a slight difference after I've clicked it, but it, it's, uh, it's not much, but you'll see the line goes through it. So that now, if I'm sharing a file of YouTube or something with a video, then they'll be able to hear the audio that's coming through there as well. Okay, and to sim simply stop presenting, just hover up to the top and click stop presenting. Okay, so that's how you share your desktop uh, and system audio. Now, we do need to record the lessons. and I know that uh, a script has been sent out that we should... Um, read out uh, to all the pupils so if you could make sure you do that please but to record the lesson so you've you've uh, you've started your lesson off or you've come into teams you've got pupils waiting in the lobby before you let them in or as as you've let them in as they're coming in click on the three dots and you'll see they start recording you simply start that so that's recording now okay and it says you're recording this meeting make sure that you let everyone know that they've been recorded and that statement is in the script that's been uh, sent out to you Okay, so when you finish, you simply go here, stop recording. And remember, this is just for peace, peace of mind if, uh, if we do need to go back. Now, that will appear if you click on the show conversation. Okay, so this is where you can talk to the pupils. Now, this will appear here. Okay, there's the, the video of the lesson you can download. Now, if you want to take a, a register of who's actually in, so say you wanted to update the class charts, I think we've been told to do it at the end of the day. Or by the end of the day, if you click on uh, participants, okay, and you click on the three dots, you'll see download attendance list. So if I click on that, it's downloaded for me an attendance list of the people, of the pupils that have turned up to that meeting. Okay. Now you can also in there, once in here, click three dots. Don't allow attendees to unmute. Now you may you may want to allow some pupils. I definitely have with uh, my uh, older pupils in your uh, 10 and 11 uh, where I've actually enabled their mics so we can, we can have a conversation uh, it's a bit you know a bit nicer than just having them all uh, muted and the way that you can do that is if you click on it's not an easy way but um, if you click on meeting options allow attendees to unmute okay so that would be off normally click that on save and then I'd say to the class okay guys I've just given you the um, the opportunity now to unmute your mics so we can have a conversation so please unmute your mics and uh, you know i'll ask you one by one what you think and have a conversation and then once you've done that if you want to just stop them or mute them all again just click on that and it puts them all back to mute okay so that's the easiest way uh, to do that and uh, gareth carter sent a very useful video around the other day, uh, other day about how to remove uh, a pupil but again, the, the easiest way is if you click on participants, click on the three dots, you can remove them from the meeting. 
But if you look at Gareth's video, it, they will still be able to post in the chat. Nine times out of ten, that will be fine. Okay, the, the pupils won't go into the chat. But if they do, follow Gareth's video, and that shows you then how to remove them from the team. But make sure that you add them after. If you have removed a pupil permanently from the team, this just removes them from the meeting. If you remove them from the team, make sure you put them back in. Okay, as usual, guys, if you've got any more questions, you please send them through. We're all learning. And I think you've done a fantastic job this week. All right, thanks very much. Bye.